thought I would try to make a video response to this uh, video. I really like Veritasium. I, it's a great uh, channel and some of the best uh, relativity uh, examples and uh, explanations I've seen out there are on this channel. Uh, but I felt like I wanted to make a video response to this uh, video called Why No One Has Measured the Speed of Light. And I'm going to start just by playing this part. It's about uh, Michael Fizeau's uh, experiment. And I'll just let him explain it. It's great. He's much better explaining things than I am. But here we go. Experimentally measured by Ippolite Fizeau in 1849, he shone a beam of light between the teeth of a rapidly spinning gear to a mirror up on a hill eight kilometers away. And then by increasing the speed of the gear, he reached a point where the reflected light passed through the next gap on the gear, and so it was observed. So he measured the speed of light to be 313,000 kilometers per second, which is within 5% of the presently accepted value. So someone has measured the speed of light. Okay. Um, now I'll be honest, I have always thought the Fizeau's experiment used two wagon wheels. I did not realize he used a mirror. Um, I thought that he had put um, a spinning wheel over at this end and another sp spinning wheel over at this end. Um, I'm not sure if I thought, if I really thought he did or if um, I just, I just, my own representation of it in my own head had always been two wagon wheels. And for me, I'm not sure why, this would not uh, be, or I feel like this would be a good way of measuring the one-way speed of light uh, because you're just, you have the emitter over here and you've got the receiver over here. You get, you get the beam and what would go wrong? Okay, I think I see it because the emitter and the receiver at the end would have to communicate with each other somehow to tell each other how long there was between them. And somehow either those clocks would have to be brought together or they would have to be synchronized through a light beam. Okay, so, um, well, I'm not gonna have as quite as strong a point as I thought I was going to have but I still want to go on and talk about my other point. Another uh, topic that Derek discusses is uh, let's draw two space draw a space time diagram and over here is Mars and over here is Earth. And need to get that on camera. Okay, there we go. And in in Mars is over here, Earth is over here and let's say it takes 20 it's a uh, 20 light minutes between them so you got the signal coming from over here coming back over here and that's what it looks like if the uh the signal is the same speed in both directions and there is a very important issue that was not mentioned in this because here okay it's just assumed delta t1 is the same as delta t2 but what he missed, uh, what he didn't discuss, and what he, uh, he probably is aware of, but I think here is where it really should be brought up, is that if, say, Earth and Mars are traveling near the speed of light, then it takes um, this much time for the light signal to go from Earth to Mars, and then it takes this much time. Uh, so T1, I am drawing delta T1. It should be vertical, delta T1 and delta T2. So it will have less time right there, delta T1, delta T2. And so it isn't the same speed from our perspective, from, from an outside perspective, the, uh, the two-way speed of light is not the same as the one-way speed of light. And let's see what happens here. This is zero minutes. Uh, we would have 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And uh, what would 
what would it do to this situation if we did what he did, where it goes up here, uh, 0 to 10, uh, 0 to 20, and then straight over here to 20 over here? Um, is that what he did? I can't, I can't quite remember. Well, that, what would that look like in this diagram? It would go into the future and then back to the past. So, so if you decided the one-way speed of light was not the same, um, if you decided that, you're, you're invalidating the special theory of relativity. Um, which, I mean, if you don't think that the special theory of relativity is correct, then that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. But you're having a signal go, in this reference frame, that signal is going backwards in time. Um, this one that was going just instantaneous over here, in this version, it's going backwards in time. So I think, um, uh, go back to Mark Rober's uh, that that really cool uh, hyperbolic thing that he had, um, he he has he had the nice uh, motion that could sh could show how all these points move on hyperbolic arcs and stuff like that, and and you'll see uh, you don't you don't want to even bother. I mean seriously, you s um, you've mentioned some people might think it's just an academic exercise to cons to worry about whether it's one-way speed of light or two-way speeds of light. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you are really wanting to go back and consider um, a theory that isn't special relativity, is not consistent with special relativity, then go ahead and do that. But yeah, it's an academic exercise uh, because you know the theory of special relativity has been pretty well confirmed in a lot of different ways. So that's my opinion anyway. And I mean, I'm open to uh, intelligent conversation about this. But you know, that's that's just me. Thanks.